Before performing any work on an oven, disconnect from power using proper lockout tagout procedures. Allow the oven to cool before performing any maintenance on the oven. Use proper safety equipment when working on any appliance. The information in the following video is offered to assist in the maintenance and repair of your oven as a resource only. All maintenance and repairs should be performed by a qualified technician. The user assumes the entire risk related using this information. Hello, I'm, my name is Dave Mason. I'm in commercial sales here at Cook Shack. And we're here today to talk about, uh, kind of walk you through the purchase and delivery of an SM360. It's our electric uh, smoker. It's a 550 pound capacity and we'd like to go over that with you today. We're here to kind of go through some of the, the things that you'd go through if you was purchase one of these smokers from us. And uh, the first thing I want to go over is our methods of delivery. Uh, we, uh, we have our own freight company that we use. We also uh, will use uh, freight companies that are requested. And uh, uh, smokers like this, if, if you do not have a forklift or a loading dock, we, uh, we generally deliver with a liftgate truck. And uh, this smoker weighs 785 pounds on the, on the pallet, so you would need some assistance with that. Once you uh, have the smoker sitting on the ground and the truck driver is anxious to leave, one thing that we like people to do is to strip all the packaging off of the smoker and inspect it for damage. Uh, sometimes the packaging can also hide damage underneath it, so we would suggest that you strip that off, inspect the smoker before you sign the paperwork with the truck driver. If there's a uh, problem with the smoker, a dent, or a scratch, you can note that on the truck driver's paperwork and then sign it, or if it's damaged badly, you can refuse the shipment. Okay, the contents, uh, along with the grills, uh, comes with 28 uh, 18 by 18 inch grills. Uh, there's four of these for each level, and uh, there's five, five inches space between the grills, so that will allow for uh, pork butts or any type of thick cut meat, and uh, they're all supported in the middle and on the side. Along with the grills, there's um, a tool to open the two uh, wood box drawers with, and there's also an extra heating element. This unit uh, runs on four heating elements that are installed prior to the delivery. Other items that your SM360 will come with is the owner's operator's manual. You'll get a Cook Shack cookbook. A 20 pound box of hickory comes with the smoker. Also, you'll get a sample of our, our mild barbecue sauce, our spicy barbecue sauce. And we have uh, three different types of rubs that you will receive. Uh, rib rub, chicken rub, and brisket rub, along with some chili mix and spicy barbecue sauce mix. One thing you'll need to do for uh, uh, preparing for your SM360 is you'll need a place to park this thing. And uh, choosing a location can be very important. Uh, it depends on a couple factors. Uh, you need the 240 volt uh, access to electricity. Uh, this smoker comes with a six foot cord on it. So that kind of might limit where you put it, but uh, also you'll need to think about ventilation on this unit. Uh, a lot of people uh, put this type of a smoker underneath a regular restaurant hood. Uh, this smoker does not require a type one hood in most places we put it, and we also have an option of direct venting this. Uh, so you do have some options on how to vent it depending on your local government. Now it's, uh, it's time to uh, season the smoker a little bit before you start uh, putting it in production. And uh, as you can see on the door here, there's a little bit of a light colored area. When we test these smokers before we ship them out, we do a little bit of seasoning on them. So there will be a little bit of seasoning started. And uh, to finish seasoning the smoker, you pull out the, the wood drawer from out from between the heating elements and you place uh, some chunks of hickory approximately half a pound in each drawer. And uh, then you uh, re replace the drawer, set your smoker on uh, 250 and set it for about six hours and run it. It uh, does a couple things. It also tests the smoker after it's been received in at your place. Make sure nothing happened in transit. And also it will add a little bit of flavor to the meat that you're cooking when you, when you do the seasoning. Okay, once you are done with your seasoning of your smoker and you're ready to start smoking some meat, uh, some things I recommend is that you cover the entire bottom of this smoker with some heavy duty foil. Uh, you poke a hole right here for the drain hole for the uh, grease to drain out of. 
and also uh, there's a little roof up above the heating elements and the wood boxes that uh, that's also good to cover with some heavy-duty foil then when you go to clean your smoker you can knock all the uh, loose things off of your grills and change out the foil and it, it takes very little time to clean up that way there's some a few things you'll need to do regularly as maintenance on this thing besides cleaning the inside and uh, there's three things we'd like to mention uh, we recommend that if you move this unit or anything that you check the electrical cord for any kind of uh, wear and tear on the cord any kind of frayed ends or anything like that uh, we also recommend that you oil the hinge pins uh, these and the latch pins at least once every six months and also you need to check the casters for free, free movement on the casters as far as warranty goes on the SM360 we have a 30-day money-back guarantee for any of our products that we build we also have a 90-day a parts and labor warranty and a two-year parts warranty on all models if you'd like any more information on the SM360 or any other products that we build here at CookShack please feel free to call me or anybody here at 1-800-423-0698. You can also check out this video and others like it on our website at www.cookshack.com.